Soon before Jeff cries, <laughs> snot bubbles. Um, yeah, welcome. It's Monday. It's a December day, you know. So it's nice and nice and um, kind of sunny, kind of not sunny. It's cold. It's uh, forty-seven degrees outside, so that's cool. Just popping on here to welcome everybody to the channel. This isn't what typically is going to take place, but this is just a little sneak peek into what you can expect. You know, sometimes it'll just be like little TED Talks with me and you. Uh, sometimes I'll have guests. I got some lined up. Uh, they're going to be fun. Due to COVID, you know, we're going to Zoom some of them. Some of them we're not. But uh, that's just the nature of the beast and what we're going to do. Uh, it's going to be fun. I think I have some good ideas on uh, some guests that I want on the show for you. And it should be entertaining. It's going to be kind of deep sometimes. Sometimes it's not going to be deep at all. I mean, you know. People change. People feel different every day. And uh, that's okay. It's all right. If you don't accept people for feeling different, then, then you're missing out on a lot. All walks of life, you know. There's uh, all sorts of people. Some are good, some are bad, some are in the middle. But there's good and bad in everything. You just got to find the highs and the lows, you know, like, uh, like you don't know, like a Tom Petty song, you don't know what it's like to be king, remember that? We don't, we don't know what it's like. I'd like to. I would love to be king, just for a day. Probably two days. I'd want to get stressed out eventually, so two days probably. Day one, just me doing whatever I want, thinking about kings and like all the food and stuff they eat. That's all I remember. You watch Game of Thrones, you watch uh, Lord of the Rings, you watch all these period pieces about uh, kings and queens. That's what I remember. I always had a big ass turkey leg in his hand, just going to town on it. Or uh, Lord of the Rings, those little cherry tomatoes. That dude was popping those things like with skills. Mm. So yeah, first day I just eat all day. It's like Jeff, you just became the king of the world. What are you gonna do? I'ma eat. I'ma eat. I'm gonna have some turkey legs, some big ass turkey legs some pies. I'll get all the little little cooks in the house to make a whole bunch of food. And I'll just sit down and eat. It's good to have goals. So, I mean, that's probably reflective of if I ever become something. If I ever become a millionaire. If I ever become... I ain't even worried about being a millionaire. If I make over six figures, I'll be okay. You know? Because it's true. I'll be fine. I mean, at this point, with COVID and everything, I'll be fine if I get anything. You know what I mean? You feel me? Yeah, that, it would be reflective of if I had money. I'd be like 500 pounds. I would literally be 500 pounds. Oh, those sisters. 500 pound sisters. I'd be one of them be one of the sisters like my beard covers up the second chin but I'd have a whole nother 
third chin coming through. Third chin ain't gonna have no hair on it because it's just extra belly. I'd have a neck belly. And you know what? I'd be okay with it. I would. I would. I'd be eating turkey legs. I'd be at the movie theater, pull one out of my damn fanny pack. All of a sudden, it starts. In the movie theater, you look over. Watching some TV and taking a nap halfway through. That's my kids. I always take naps during the movies. That's just how it lined up. Because, uh, after divorce, I got my kids on the weekend, but I'm a DJ, so I work on the weekends. So I'd work till 2 o'clock in the morning. I'd go in on a Friday night, and I'd DJ till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Then I'd drive home a whole other state away, which is about two hours, right? <clears throat> so when I get home, it's 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. I'm taking a, a, basically a nap. I get up around 9, 10 o'clock. Then I pick up my kids. Then we go to the movie theaters. First 30 minutes, Jumanji 2, I'm in. That's all I remember. My kids are dying laughing, and they wake me up. And they're like, Dad, he's on an elephant. And that's that's all I remember of that movie. I heard it was good. So, you know, take a nap, man. It's important. Important part of life. Another thing that's important is being inclusive. So when people aren't like you, they're different. They're different for certain reasons. We all grew up different. You know, you don't know what it's like. Keep going back to that. I think that's going to be the common theme for this for this whole little podcast, man. I, I like people of all shapes, sizes, walks of life, and I've I've known them for half my life. So this first little season of uh, people I'm going to have on the show. About inclusion, about people that have been in my life that that have dealt with it. Inclusion and dealt with uh, being different. And people don't always see it out of eye. A lot of people see exactly what they have to. The bare minimum. You see people for, you know, how they show up, how they walk into your life. You don't see them for what's on the inside. You don't see them for the 20 plus years that they've had to deal with people. And, uh, I hope I open your eyes, you know. Not everybody. Some of y'all are just here for the entertainment value. And I'm okay with that too. I hope it's very entertaining. I have some of the funniest people I know on this show coming up. And, uh, you know, if they make me laugh, then I hope they make you laugh too. Because that's what it's all about, man. You can have a shitty day, but you can go to work and it not be, not be what you want. But that little 10, 20 minute drive you got in between where you can either play some music, you can play a podcast, you can watch this. Or not watch it. But if you are watching it, watch it safely. Like in the passenger seat or in the back seats. And make sure you're always buckled up. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's all about the little things. Laughing. I laughed so hard the other day. sheer amazement that comes out of people's faces at weddings it just it kills me like I will die laughing I had a guy uh, guy like I'm surveying the wedding I'm watching the people because that's what that's my job as a DJ 
It's not just playing the music. You got to watch the people and know what kind of music you need to be playing. And you can tell whether or not you're getting close or you're not. It's like it's like little tugs on a fishing pole. If you want to catch the fish, you got to feel it. You got to feel the little pull on the uh, on your string, so you know. Okay, they're nibbling. They're nibbling. So that's what I was doing. I was trying to catch a fish. I'm looking around the room, seeing everybody. They're kind of getting into it, grooving. I'm seeing who's grooving, who's not. How can I get that person into the the mix without losing the other person? Like mixing the, the young with the old, the Spanish with American music. It's it's a chemistry set, man. And uh, actually, one of my guests that we're gonna have on the show. We're going to talk a lot about that, too, because he got thrown into it. Um, it was sink or swim, and it, he was definitely above water, but it took him a second to figure out how to get above water. So you just don't learn to swim by drowning. You got to try and pedal, and you got to try and get out of the water. Um, I don't remember what... Oh, okay. So I'm at the wedding, I'm doing my thing, reading the people, and uh, it's about halfway through the wedding, and this guy is hammered, like gone. Like, I don't understand how he's standing, but he's one of those that's like, you know he's got to pee, you know he's got to pee, you can't drink that much beer and not have to pee. Anyway, he's barely hanging on. And I'm sitting there just looking at the room, trying to read the room. And he comes up to me. Hilarious. He comes up to me and he goes, hey, I see you. And I'm like, excuse me? I see you looking at her. I'm like, uh, who? That girl in the red dress. I'm like, what girl in the red dress, dude? And he points to the building behind me behind me and her you've been looking at her huh Woo! so clearly he wanted approval that he was looking at this girl in the other building behind me but, I mean he just he killed me I died and that you know that's just a few minutes in a wedding there's also crazy stuff like you, we'll get into that I also have somebody that's going to be able to speak on, on the wedding industry, so that should be fun. Um, I have people that I've worked with for a long time. I have musicians coming. I have singers coming. I have uh, dancers coming. I have drag queens coming. I have all kinds of stuff planned for you. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you stick around. Um, my goal is to keep this under 10 minutes and I'm already at 13 minutes. So I can talk all day. This is nothing new. Uh, this is a little stroll, a little drive, and a little hi, how you doing? Welcome to the show. So there you go. This is uh, the beginning of the Jeff Vance show.